following images are all available with a good pair of binoculars. No special equipment is needed. The total Messier list is 110 objects, but are not all as easily visible as the ones here. I have also put the distance away from Earth each object is. The distances are in light years, or the distance light travels in one calendar year. One light year is approximately 9 trillion kilometers. Remember, if an object is 5,000 light years away, when you see the light from it, it left there 5,000 years ago. So you are looking back in history. Messier Object 2. It's a globular cluster in Aquarius. This globular cluster is about 55,000 light years from us. Messier Object 3 is also a globular cluster, but in Canis Vanatici. M3 is about 33,920 light years from Earth. Messier 4, or M4, is a globular cluster in the constellation of Scorpius. Distance to the Earth, 7,175 light years. Messier Object 5 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Serpens and is about 24,460 light years away from Earth. Messier Object 6 is an open cluster found in the constellation of Scorpius. It is commonly known as the Butterfly Cluster and is fairly close at 1,601 light years away. Messier Object 7 is commonly referred to as the Ptolemy Cluster. It is an open cluster in the constellation of Scorpius. The cluster is nearly 978 light years away. Messier Object 8 is an emission nebula in the constellation of Sagittarius. It is commonly referred to as the Lagoon Nebula and is 4,077 light years away. Messier Object 10 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Ophiuchus. This is one of my favorite objects to view. M10 is 14,350 light years away. Messier 11 is an open cluster in the constellation of Scutum, often referred to as the wild duck cluster. It is 6,197 light years away. M11 is one of the most densely packed open clusters with about 2,900 stars. Messier 12, or M12, is a globular cluster in the constellation of Ophiuchus. It is 15,660 light years away. Messier 13, or M13, is sometimes called the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules, or the Hercules Globular Cluster. It is a globular cluster of several hundred thousand stars in the constellation of Hercules. Distance to Earth, 22,180 light years. Age, 11.66 billion years old. Messier 14 is a globular cluster of stars in the constellation of Ophiuchus. At a distance of about 30,000 light years, M14 contains several hundred thousand stars. Messier 15, or M15, is a globular cluster in the constellation Pegasus. At an estimated 12 billion years old, it is one of the oldest known globular clusters. Distance to Earth, 32,620 light years. 
Messier 17, the Omega Nebula, also known as the Swan Nebula. Age, about 1.001 million years. It is located in the rich star fields of the Sagittarius area of the Milky Way. Messier 17, the Omega Nebula, also known as the Swan Nebula. Age, about 1.001 million years. It is located in the rich star fields of the Sagittarius area of the Milky Way. Messier 18, or M18, is an open cluster of stars in the constellation of Sagittarius. It was discovered by Charles Messier in 1764. From the perspective of Earth, M18 is situated between the Omega Nebula and a small Sagittarius star cloud. The distance to Earth, 4,892 light years. Messier 19, or M19, is a globular cluster in the constellation of Ophiuchus. It was discovered by Charles Messier on June 5, 1764. Distance to Earth, 28,700 light years. Age, 11.91 billion years. Messier 22, or M22, also known as NGC 6656, is an elliptical globular cluster of stars in the constellation of Sagittarius near the galactic bulge region. It is one of the brightest globulars that is visible in the night sky. Distance to Earth, 9,785 light years. Messier 23 also known as NGC 6494, is an open cluster in the southern constellation of Sagittarius. Distance to Earth, 2,149 light years. Messier 24, the small Sagittarius star cloud, is a star cloud in the constellation of Sagittarius approximately 600 light years wide, which was discovered by Charles Messier in 1764. The distance to Earth, 10,010 light years. Messier 25 is an open cluster of stars in the southern constellation of Sagittarius. The first recorded observation of this cluster was made by Philip Lois de Chaux in 1745, and it was included in Charles Messier's list of nebulous objects in 1764. Distance, 2,000 light years. Messier 26 is an open cluster of stars in the southern constellation of Scutum. It was discovered by Charles Messier on June 20th, 1764. Distance to Earth, 5,003 light years. Messier 27, the Dumbbell Nebula, is a planetary nebula in the constellation of Vulpecula at a distance of about 1,227 light years. It was the first planetary nebula to be discovered by Charles Messier in 1764. The planetary nebula is actually approaching us at a speed of about 19 kilometers per second. Messier 28 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Sagittarius. The cluster sits at a distance of about 17,940 light years away. Messier 29 is an open cluster in the constellation of Cygnus. This open cluster sits at about 5,871 light years away. M30 is a globular cluster in the southern area of Sagittarius, first discovered by 
Charles Messier in 1764. This globular cluster sits at approximately 27,070 light years away and is estimated to be 12.93 GYR in age. A GYR is an astronomical term. One GYR is a giga year or one billion years. M31 is more commonly known as the Andromeda Galaxy and is located in the constellation of Andromeda. It is about 2.5 million light years from Earth. The number of stars contained in the Andromeda Galaxy is estimated at 1 trillion or twice the number estimated for the Milky Way. Messier 32 is a dwarf galaxy located about 2.65 million light years from Earth in the constellation of Andromeda. M32 is a satellite galaxy of the Andromeda galaxy. Messier 34 is an open cluster in the constellation Perseus. Estimated age 200 to 250 million years. Distance to the Earth 1,533 light years. Messier 35 is an open cluster in the constellation of Gemini. The cluster is about 2,772 light years in distance from here. Messier 36 is often referred to as the pinwheel cluster. It is in the constellation of Auriga. It is estimated to have 60 stars and is about 4,000 light years away. Messier 37 is an open cluster of stars located in the constellation of Auriga, the charioteer and is the brightest cluster in this constellation. It is about 4,511 light years away. Messier 38 is an open star cluster in the constellation of Auriga. It is about 3,477 light years away and was first discovered in 1654. It is estimated to have about 100 stars. The brightest one is said to have a luminosity of about 900 of our suns. Messier 39 is an open star cluster in the constellation of Cygnus. It is approximately 1,063 light years from Earth. It is considered a naked eye cluster and contains an estimated of only 30 stars. Messier 40 is a double star located in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Big Bear. The stars are about 500 light years away. Messier 41 is an open cluster of stars located in Canis Major. It is about 2,316 light years away from Earth and contains about 100 stars. This cluster was known to Aristotle as early as 325 BC. Messier 42 and 43. M42 is the Orion Nebula one of the most viewed objects in the night sky. It is about 1,344 light years away and is one of the brightest nebula. The object is in the Orion constellation and is a naked eye object. Messier 43, the smaller of the pair, is about 1,600 light years away. On a clear night, these two objects are a great go-to for amateurs. Messier 44 is about 577 light years away. 
it is estimated to be about 625 million years old. The Beehive Cluster is an open cluster in the constellation of Cancer. It is one of the nearest open clusters to Earth. Messier 45 is commonly called the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. It is a very bright open cluster in Taurus, very easily spotted naked eye. It is 444 light years away and contains over 1,000 stars, but is dominated by the brightest ones. Messier 46 or M46 is an open cluster of stars in the constellation of Pupus. It was discovered by Charles Messier in 1771. Dreyer described it as very bright, very rich, very large. M46 is about 4,920 light years away. Messier 47 is an open cluster in the constellation of Pupus. It was discovered by Giovanni Battista Cordiana before 1654 and independently discovered by Charles Messier on February 19, 1771. Estimated age is 78 million years old, distance to Earth 1,624 light years. Messier 48 is a youngster at only 300 million years old. It contains about 50 stars and is located in the constellation of Hydra. M48 is about 1,500 light years away. Messier 50 or M50, also known as NGC 2323, is an open cluster of stars in the constellation Monoceros. It was recorded by G. D. Cassini before 1711. It is sometimes described as a heart-shaped figure or a blunt arrowhead. This cluster has 508 confirmed stars, however, there may be more. Messier 53 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Coma Bernices. The cluster contains at least 500,000 stars and perhaps many more and is estimated to be 12.6 billion years old. Distance to Earth, 58,710 light years. Messier 55 is a globular cluster in the constellation Sagittarius. It was discovered by Nicolas Louis de la Cille on June 16, 1752, while observing from what today is South Africa. M55 contains about 100,000 stars and is nearly 17,610 light years away. Messier 62 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Ophiuchus. It is about 12 billion years old and a little over 22,000 light years away. They estimate that there are in excess of 150,000 stars in the core. Messier 67 is an open cluster in the constellation of Cancer. It is estimated to be between 3.2 and 5 billion years old and have about 500 stars. The cluster sits at a distance of about 2,800 light years. Messier 71 is a globular cluster in the constellation Sagitta. The distance to Earth, about 13,050 light years. There's about 20,000 stars in this cluster. Messier 78 is a reflection nebula in the constellation of Orion. It is about 1,600 light years away.
Messier 79 is a globular cluster in the constellation Lepus. It is at a distance of about 42,000 light years. M79 is estimated to have about 150,000 stars. Messier 80 is a globular cluster in the constellation of Scorpius. It was discovered by Charles Messier in 1781. The distance to Earth is 32,620 light years. M80 is said to contain at least 200,000 stars. Messier 81 is a spiral galaxy in the constellation of Ursa Major. It is about 12 million light years away from Earth. M81 is commonly called Bode's Galaxy. It is estimated to have somewhere near 250 billion stars. M82 is commonly called the Cigar Galaxy. It is in the constellation of Ursa Major. M82 is about 11.5 million light years away. M93 is 3,380 light years away from Earth. Messier 93, an open cluster in the constellation of Pupus, M93 contains about 80 stars and this estimated age is 400 million years. Messier 94 is a spiral galaxy in the constellation Canis Venatici. The distance to Earth, 16.01 million light years. Messier 94 is estimated to contain 40 billion stars. The galaxy is receding from us at approximately 308 kilometers per second. I hope this gives you an idea of what can be seen even with a pair of binoculars. You do not have to get a lot of fancy equipment to enjoy the universe above us. You can view terrific objects from 500 to 58,000 light years away. Remember, at the start I mentioned that a light year is approximately 9 trillion kilometers. This means if you find Messier Object 32, the galaxy in Andromeda, which is 2.65 million light years away, in kilometers you are seeing an object that is 9 trillion kilometers times 2.65 million kilometers away and the light is 6.25 million years old. So you do the math. These are objects that you can see easily with binoculars. Imagine with your telescope, we can set up and see upwards of 500 million plus light years away. No matter how you do it, enjoy our galaxy and beyond. Clear skies.